From first glance, Ocracoke Island looks like most other places on the Outer Banks. Serene, family-oriented, pristine beach community. But behind the watery veneer, what lies festering under the surface? Ocracoke Island is a typical Outer Banks community. Roads, restaurants, bed and breakfast, a place where people enjoy the outdoors. They come here to relax, to ride bicycles down the main street. Or they come for the beach, but it's here that we see our first signs of trouble. What makes a black dog fear the waves? Why does he sit immobile instead of playing in the surf? Why indeed? And what diabolical power would make a normal small child believe she is a frog? The striking resemblance in position between the child and this real frog is enough to chill the blood of even the most ardent skeptic. He doesn't seem to care too much. And who is this man? And just what is he taking pictures of? Our investigative team followed the man and found the amazing truth. Keeping a safe distance so the man had no clue of our presence, the investigative team found this encampment of would-be terrorists training for horrible, destructive possibilities under the guise of a normal campground. And here, the same man is overseeing the training of scuba diving terrorists hiding in the muck like the scum they are. But perhaps even more damning, this evil man was also seen at the airport, likely overseeing the training of further pilot terrorists. Note that he has no fear of being seen. The combination of scuba diving and flying could be particularly dangerous. Unnamed, top secret, reliable sources have told us chilling possibilities. This agent insisted we shoot him only in low light so as not to reveal his identity. Agent Jeppesen, please tell the frightened public more about your fears. Suicide scuba divers can dive deep, come up fast, and then fly, causing uh, backup at decompression chambers across the country. They may even go so far as vomiting toxic goo on the decks of dive boats. Hey, got a milk bone. But despite these risks, lines of cars await the ferry so they can reach Ocracoke. Perhaps even going directly to the so-called campground that we now know is a bed of would-be terrorists. It is essential for average or below average citizens who frequent Outer Banks communities like Ocracoke to keep vigilant. Watch out for clues like you've seen here. You never know what scum lies below a pristine surface.